Open your Bible with me to Psalm 139, one of my favorite psalms, actually a, a prayer of David. David ends his prayer by inviting God in. Search me, know my heart. Come, look under all the rugs and the nook and crannies of my life. Put me on trial, see if there's any sin for a wicked way in me. But he begins the prayer by talking about all of God's qualifications to do that, that he's all present, he's all knowing, he's all powerful, he's all righteous, that he knows David inside and out, that he knows every thought, every intention, every action, every word before it even leaves his mouth. God knows him altogether. It's such a powerful message about God's character. In the middle of these qualifications, we see God's involvement with David even before he was born while he was still in his mother's womb. For you four in my inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not yet hidden from you when I was made in secret, and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed. And in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. God covered David, God formed his inner organs, God skillfully wove or skillfully wrought David. It's like a skillful craftsman taking different pieces of material and creating a beautiful rug. Just think about everything that we know that happens in the womb scientifically. At six weeks, its nervous system develops, including its brain, its spinal cord, and its nerves. Six to seven weeks, a baby's heart is developed, including pumping its own blood type. Those arms, those little buds of arms and legs develop fingers and toes. At seven weeks, a baby's facial features begin to be developed, including its eyes and ears that are linked to its brain. At nine weeks, its sexual organs, including its uh, eggs and sperm, are formed. At 12 weeks or earlier, a baby can feel pain. And those are just a few of the things that happen inside the womb. Here's the amazing part about this. Like, we know scientifically that those things happen, but we don't know how those things happen. But we know how they happen because God tells us. God is actively involved at every stage, every level of a child's development. This is not just a clump of cells to be discarded at any point, but this is a child. This is the most vulnerable of human beings being created and formed by their creator into his image. And so David rightfully concluded that we are fearfully and wonderfully made.